What's going on guys, Dr. Brute 7 signing in back with another jailbreak tutorial video. This time it's going to be about the 3DS, the new 3DS, 2DS models. I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak those devices. Keep in mind this is only for the new 3DS, 2DS models. On my latest video I showed you guys how to completely remove the custom firmware and return your devices to the stock mode. If you want to check that tutorial out, you can go ahead and do so. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. Make sure your devices are connected to the internet and all the buttons on your console is working properly. We need to initiate a set of commands while attempting the jailbreak. And lastly, make sure your SD cards are formatted to FAT32 formats. On the newest versions of Windows, it's a bit tricky to do so, so go to the link in the description. I have a freeware program. You can use that to easily format your cards to FAT32 formats. One side note is it's always advisable to update your console's firmware version, official firmware version, while you're on the latest custom firmware. The latest official firmware version, which is 11.17.0, is already jailbroken, so it's not a big deal. Let's download a bunch of files and folders that are required for the jailbreak process. All of them are numbered chronologically, so just follow through. First link will take you to Andemony 3DS. It is for the custom themes after jailbreak, so go ahead and download the Andemony 3DS CIA file by heading over to the Assets section. Second would be Boot Knight Strap. Head over to the Assets section, you're going to see a bunch of files. You only need one of them. This is the one, Boot Knight Strap 1.4 zip file. Third link, Checkpoint the save games manager we're gonna go ahead and download checkpoint.cia file through the assets section fourth link would be fbi we're gonna download two files fbi.cia and fbi.3dsx head over to the fifth link we're gonna download homebrew launcher under the assets section you're going to find the latest version of homebrew launcher.cia go ahead and download that time for the sixth link it's the custom firmware itself luma 3ds the latest version is in zip format which is luma 3ds version 12.0.1 go ahead and download that seventh link would be safe b9 installer so we're gonna go ahead and download the safe b9 installer.zip file head over to the eighth link we're gonna download super skater hacks head over to the assets and download this zip file release that says release new 3ds version 1.1 time for the ninth link we're gonna download universal updater head over to the assets section and download universalupdater.cia last and final link the tenth link we're gonna download unsafe mode so we're gonna download usm.bin through the assets section now i've already downloaded all of them and placed them under one folder you're gonna do the same and head over to sort group by sort them under type this is going to be helpful for you guys while transferring the files onto your sd cards so we have a bunch of files listed under their file types. All right, time to transfer these files over to your SD cards. Insert your SD cards into your computers. The first thing, make sure that you extracted all of the zip files like this. I already have them extracted. I deleted the zip files in order to avoid any kind of confusion. To my left, I have all of the downloaded files and folders that needs to be transferred. And to my right, I have my 3DS's SD card inserted into the computer. First thing we're gonna do is create two folders onto the root of our SD card. First folder, so just right click and select. First folder would be named as 3DS. Second folder would be named as CIA's. So we're going to move the first file onto our SD card, which would be fbi.3dsx. So move the fbi.3dsx file into the 3ds folder. After moving that file, you can delete it. Second would be the usm.bin file. We're going to just drag and drop onto the root of our SD card. You can delete that file. Third would be moving all of these CIA files into the created CIA folder. Select all of these files and I'm just gonna completely move them into our CIA folder of our SD card. All right, head over to your SD card and create another folder, name it to boot nine strap. Head over to your downloads folder where you have all of these files and folders downloaded. Head over into boot nine strap Select both of these files and move them into the created boot 9 strap folder of your SD card. You can delete off the folder 
from your downloads folder. Time to create another folder onto the root of your SD card. Right click onto the root of your SD card and create a new folder. Name it to Luma. Head over into the created Luma folder and create another subfolder and name it to Payloads. Head over into your Downloads folder and double click into God Mode 9 folder. Here you're going to see a bunch of files. We only need the God Mode9.farm file. We're gonna just copy and move it into the Payloads subfolder. Now head over into the root of your micro SD card. Now look for the GM9 subfolder inside the downloaded GM9 version 2.1.1 folder. So we're going to copy the GM9 folder and paste it into the root of your SD card. All right, so we're done with the God Mode 9 folder, so we can just delete it off. Head over to the Luma 3DS folder of downloads. Copy these two files. One is 3DSX file and one is boot.farm file and paste it onto the root of your SD card. We can delete this folder off. We are only left with the last two folders. So we're gonna head over into the release new 3DS version 1.1 of our downloads folder. So we're gonna go into USA and you're gonna see these two subfolders with the firmware versions that states 11.17 plus and 11.7 to 11.16. So the latest firmware version is 11.17 plus. We're gonna head over into that, select all of the contents and paste it onto the root of our SD card. Okay, so we can delete off the release new 3DS version 1.1 folder from the downloads folder. That leaves us with only one last folder, the Safe B9S installer. Head over into that folder and we're gonna look for the Safe B9Installer.bin file. This is the only file that we need to move. We're gonna copy it and paste it onto the root of our SD card. Okay, so we are done with the final folder. You can delete it off from your downloads folder. We're done with the moving process of all the files and folders onto our SD card. Okay, insert your micro SD cards into your 3DS 2DSs. Now, it's time for you to take a little bit of breather before starting the next steps. If you wanna watch some cartoons or drink some energy drinks, now is the time to do so. All right, now turn on your 3DS, 2DS consoles. You can pause the screen here because we're gonna have to scan one of the QR codes. Based on your region, you're going to be scanning the QR codes. For me, it's USA, Europe, and Japan. With the camera aligned with the QR code, you're gonna have to select the QR code option. Align the camera, and I'm gonna select the QR code option. Okay, so here it says URL found. Go ahead and hit on OK. Launch the internet browser. If you get this error code, just hit on allow. You're gonna see this thing that says go go. Press on select and bookmark the page. I already have it bookmarked so you're gonna just bookmark this page. After bookmarking the page you'd want to delete any kind of cookies. Go ahead and hit on start and go to settings and delete cookies. You're going to head back into the main menu screen by pressing the home menu button. Time to relaunch the internet browser. If you still get this error code do not worry just allow now just select go go you're gonna see a pop-up notification I'll just go ahead and hit on ok great we just met with an error do not worry about this so I'm gonna explain it to you now for this particular error there is a fix but if you keep on getting any kind of errors other than this just keep on trying up to five times and if it still doesn't work there is the troubleshooting guide and just follow through those instructions you're gonna have to change the date and time head over to settings other settings date and time today's date so obviously it's not 2017 2023 18th and month of july and press on ok changing the date may cost it it's fine date has been set now we're gonna set the current time at this time of making the video it's exactly 440 the clock just hit 441 okay time has been set we're gonna just exit out of this, relaunch the internet browser, select GoGo Go one more time. Pop up notifications, hit on OK. You're gonna see these colors.
do not do anything quite yet you're just gonna go ahead and power off the console power on your console again hit the left and right shoulder buttons again we are not gonna have to do anything other than activating the camera okay camera has been activated power off your console this is just to perform a soft check of everything is working fine all right so if the camera appeared that means everything should be going well for you guys it's going well from my end now if the camera did not appear i'll link you guys with the instructions which can be found in the description it's time to install boot 9 strap let's turn on our console open the internet browser hit on gogo -Go, let it do its colorful thing now here you're going to see these two options select the second one that says slot tool version 1.4 all right, so on the top screen, it says slot tool version 1.4, install exploit to Wi-Fi slots 1, 2, 3 and shut down. It will be already highlighted on A. With the console still powered off, we're going to hold the following button combinations. Left shoulder, right shoulder, D-pad up, the A button, and then we're going to power on the console. Keep them holding until the console turns on and you're going to be met with this screen. It's going to ask you to perform the system update. OK, there is no system update. Go through with this whole on screen instructions. Now you're going to meet up with this error code. No need to panic. Hit on OK. Now it's going to ask you to configure your Internet settings. Yes, select connection one, select change settings, move over to the next page select proxy settings detailed setup there you go your screen is gonna flash now you're going to be on the boot nine strap menu here follow with the on-screen instructions so it's left down right up and a now it's going to do its thing all you have to do is just wait sig hacks firm install success a to continue now you're on the luma 3ds custom firmware configuration screen you do not have to do anything other than hitting on start it's going to restart the console okay so this screen may look normal but you're actually on the custom firmware screen because luma 3ds does not look any different from the normal home menu at this point both you and i we are on the custom firmware now we're going to restore the wi-fi configuration profiles so in order to do that we're going to select download play make sure to open the download play and not just have it selected open it now on this screen we're going to put on a button combination so it should be left shoulder d-pad down and select this will bring up the rosalina menu on the bottom screen head over to miscellaneous options the first option that says switch the hb title to the current app we're going to go ahead and select that press on a operation succeeded press on b to continue b again to return to the rosalina menu now it's time to exit the rosalina menu and b press and hold the home button exit out of download play make sure to close the software run download play one more time your console should launch the home view launcher like how it is shown on the video we're going to select slot tool one more time we're going to select the second option that says restore original wi-fi slots one two three before we move on to the installation of the Homebrew apps, we're going to perform the system update. Head over to settings. We're already on the latest system software version, 11.17.0. This is only to show you guys that we would still be able to update our official firmware through our custom firmware itself. Head over to the very last section of other settings, system update, update system. There you go, the system is up to date. All right, let's just go back to the home menu. We're going to relaunch download play. We're going to bring up the Rosalina menu again. Left shoulder button, D-pad down and select. Head over to miscellaneous options. Move over to the very last option that says dump DSP firmware. Select that. Okay, so it says DSP firmware successfully written. You're going to just hit on B. Select nullify user time offset A. Just press on B three times to power off your console. After rebooting your console, reinitiate the homebrew menu. Download play. Left shoulder button down and select on the rosalina menu head over to miscellaneous options 
Switch the HB title to the current app. Relaunch Download Play. Time to install a bunch of homebrew apps. Go over to FBI and select it. On the FBI menu, the first option that says SD, it's already selected. Hit on A. Remember we created a folder on our SD card named CIAs. This is where it's going to come into effect. Head over to CIAs. You're going to see all the CIAs that we copied and pasted onto our SD cards. Select the first option that says current directory. Select the second option under directory action that says install and delete all CIAs. It's going to install all the CIAs in the current directory and delete the install files. All right, installation finished, press any button. Additionally, you can also update FBI from here. No updates available, so it's fine. Press on start and exit out of FBI. Exit out of Homebrew Launcher. New software has been added to the home menu. Open up those gift boxes. Universal Updater, Homebrew Launcher. All right, so we're done with all the installations of the Homebrew apps. So now we're just gonna shut down our console. Couple of more stuffs that needs to be done. Launch God Mode 9 and perform a couple of steps. Press and hold the start button and power on your console you're going to see God Mode 9 initiated. Now you can set the brightness by using the volume up and down button. If it prompts you to create essential files backup, follow the on-screen instructions. Also, if you're prompted to fix the RTC date and time, follow the on-screen instructions. Now for me, it did not. Press the home button to bring the menu up. Select scripts, select GM9 mega script. Now select scripts from Plylect's guide and hit on A. The first option, set up Luma 3DS to CTR NAND. Continue, press A again one more time. Now it says, do you want to enable SysNAND? In order to proceed, put in this button combination, which is down, up, left, down, and A. Luma 3DS copied successfully, press on A to continue. After that, we're gonna have to clean up the SD card. Select clean up SD card and hit on A. This will clean the final set of files from your SD card. A, SD card now squeaky clean from set of files. Amazing, press on A to continue. Hit on B, the first option that says backup options. Select that by pressing on A and select SysNAND backup. Create a SysNAND backup, proceed by pressing on A and let it continue. Okay, so our backup is created successfully. A to continue and press on B and B again. So after you exit out of the menu, it's going to ask you to relog the right permissions that were just changed. Go ahead and press on A. Now move over to the top screen, select SysNAND Virtual. Here, Essential XFs, select that and hit on A. And now from the bottom screen, select Copy to GM9 Out. Press on A. Essential accepts copied. A to continue. So we are done. Home button to bring up the action menu. Select power off system. Okay, we are done with all the essential steps. Create a backup of your SD card at this point because of safety reasons. Insert our SD card into our computer. It's very simple and easy to do so. Select all the files. Control C. Paste all of the files and folders here. We're done with copying and pasting all the files from our SD card. Reinsert your SD card into your 3DS, 2DSs. Turn on the system and look at our newly modified consoles. There we go. So we are on custom firmware. From here onwards, we get to do a bunch of amazing stuffs. Our Luma 3DS custom firmware has been configured. There is no need to reinitiate the homebrew launcher through Rosalina menu. You can do it right from the custom firmware's home menu itself. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found this guide helpful. If you did, make sure to drop in your like and subscribe by showing your support. If you really like my videos and tutorials and other stuffs that I post on my YouTube, you can be a member of my channel. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one, Dr. Root 7 signing off. Peace.